hello everyone in this part i'm going to show you how we can customize your admin panel of django okay so let's do it so this is our main admin admin panel so we're going to customize it so for that you need to go to your admin dot admin dot py file okay so go to the products and uh, so go i'm going to the products i'm going to admin on py file and here i'm going to write here class product admin which is admin dot model admin write it perfectly admin dot model admin okay so you have to create a class which is product admin okay which is inherit this admin module admin class so we have all the power of the admin class now you can customize it you can say list display and write it as a tuple which is id we want to see the id we want to see the name okay we want to see the price we don't want to see the description so we don't need to write it and it's is published is published and is created at created at we want to see all of those things so when um, you need to register product and product admin just modify it you need to register the product model as well as the product admin uh, class that you have created so save it when you go there refresh it and you can see you have your id which is ordered by reverse the latest one is coming first four three two one this is laptop its name its price is published or not okay published or not is created it we didn't include the description field and the image field okay we don't need it now so all the information that you want to see its name its price is published and all those things so when you click on this id you're going to go to the main dashboard where you can modify all of this information even you can delete this product information okay so you need to this is so that's why i write list display you can also use list display links okay so in the tuple i'm going to write id and name so just save it and go there see now you can click it asus gaming you can click on this name it is working as a link so go to the intel gaming pc you can see with the intel gaming pc information is description is price name all of those things you can click on this and go your main information panel so this is very simple and you can also use list filter list filter we're going to filter it using uh, price we want to filter it using the price and created at filter it using price and created it so go there as you can see you filter it by price five hundred dollar as you can see when you click on five hundred dollar it show only five hundred when you click on 800 it will show uh, the gaming pc when you click on 999.99 it shows apple iphone 5 and also created it so today past seven days will not show in information but when you click on any date for today it is showing there so when you sort it by price it is showing very fine okay so as you can see filtering is done by created ad and price so let's keep it only price so it is filtered perfectly and when it is tuple when you have only one element you need to add those comma okay so remember that otherwise you will get an error now i'm going to use list editable list editable i'm gonna use is underscore published okay so add one more comma we can edit this is published field now see we can edit this when we use this one this information would be and save it you see asus gaming monitor would be unchecked as is published so when go to asus gaming monitor as you can see it is not published anymore when you click ok on this and save it and as you can see it is added once again 
so you can select it deselect it all up to you so we have this functionality added it's editable based on this published and we have a search fields search fields is also based on its name and its price based on its name and price okay so go there refresh it now you have a search panel now i will write 99.99 cent mm, its price is apple iphone 10 so search it as you can see apple iphone 10 based on its price when you go to the 500.99 search it you have asus gaming monitor okay so all the thing that you want you have it all the thing you have it okay right there on the functionality and name it suppose apple search it as you can see there we go to asus and search it we have two product gaming laptop and this monitor and when you go to ordering we have ordering based on its price okay ordering based on its price so when the price is lowest to highest 500 is asus gaming monitor uh, gaming piece is 800 dollar iphone 10 is 900 it's ordered by its price okay so order by its name a then i see its price is ordered by its price you can reverse it as well when the highest price product is on the top level 99 and the lowest is 500 so it is going to the highest to lowest and why to select this one it is going to the lowest to highest so you can have all the functionality added based on its name okay and its price so on this price you can order it then you have your exclude exclude and it is description just excluding the description we are not we don't want it okay so as you can see when you click on any product like asus gaming monitor you cannot add any description you can see images name price is published and created it your description field is hidden okay so i don't suggest it to do that so that's why you i don't want to exclude okay it's fine so save it and go there fine now when you go there you can save the description field so this is super 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 important so this is all the thing about how you can customize your django admin panel so thanks for watching guys i'll be coming with the next video content for you guys